Honorable Governor, Sri Devarat Acharya Ji, Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Bhupendra Bhai Patel Ji, Honorable Minister for Education, Sri Jitu Bhai Vagani Ji, Director GNLU, Dr. S. Santa Kumar Ji, Senior Officials of Government of Gujarat, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Vice Chancellors, Members of Academia, and my dear boys and girls. For me, it is a great occasion. I will never forget it. The Honorable Chief Minister, I have known him for his simplicity, modesty, and creativity. He gave me two books. One book speaks volumes, where dreams meet delivery. A book reflecting on the Prime Minister of the country whose impact is being felt globally. Every Indian is proud of being a Bharatiya. <laughs> Step out of the country and you know the difference. There is no major global outfit that does not have an imprint of an Indian genius. Anywhere you go, you'll find it. Friends, I have seen it myself. This genius is gift of destiny to Bharat at a very critical juncture. I'll take you back 33 years ago when I was a member of parliament. We had 50 gas connections in our hand. That was our power. A member parliament could give 50 connections in gas to anyone he or she likes. This son of Gujarat, as prime minister of this country, could think out of the box and gave 200 million households free gas connections. And gas is available to everyone who is in need of it. This Genius knows no limits of performance. We had reckoned electricity distribution in terms of villages. He doesn't think that way. He thinks in terms of households. That every household must be electrified. When I studied in my village, I know what scarcity means. One, there was no road, no electricity, no connectivity. School was up to fifth. I had to travel six kilometers for class six. A scholarship enabled me to get quality education in Saini School, Chittorgarh. And 6,000 rupee loan given to me, my friends in the profession, they are likely to adopt. I needed 6,000 rupees very badly in 78, 79 to have a library of my own. I'm ever grateful to that man who gave me 6,000 rupees without a surety. And look at now. You have an idea. You become innovative. Money is no consideration. India is at the top today because we have unicorns in three digits with more than one billion fiscal outlay. <laughs> unicorns in three digits with more than one billion outlay. 
and all work of entrepreneurs, young minds, young genius. And that is why I recall the day when the Honorable Prime Minister addressed the governors and others on new education policy. I was startled. I never attend a conference of a man who has thorough study of the subject. I went through it twice. I found massive effort had gone into it. All stakeholders were involved. And we had evolution after decades of a policy that meets our requirements. It will be a game changer. It has been adopted by most steps, states. I am sure it is a matter of time when the entire country will adopt new education policy. It is not a partisan policy. It is not a government policy. It's a national education policy. And I know for sure investment in education improves the present and geometrically improves the future. It is the education that alone makes the difference. If we have high education, excellence in higher education, there will be innovation, there will be creativity, there will be research, and other things will automatically follow. And I, therefore, would indicate what a great American president had said, George Washington, I quote, education is the key that unlocks the golden door to freedom. Our prime minister doesn't use a to unlock it. He has abolished the door. It is free for all. I am greatly touched by his passion and mission. His eye for details, his micro approach. Make a good suggestion and you'll find you'll be asked to give a paper on it. I know for sure world is created by human genius when you allow that genius to exploit the talent potential to the fullest extent. And that is the ecosystem that is dominating the country today. The more you progress, the more you take country to greater heights, there will be headwind. There will be strong headwind, irrational headwind to see it stops. And I can tell you the knowledge level, the intellect level of this audience is more than mine. You know why there is sinister design. It goes beyond our frontiers. It is not easy for some nations also that India has come of age. The voice of Indian Prime Minister is heard globally as never before. Gone are the days when we had to see who does what. Now the world is watching what India does. Imagine recent statements of our external affairs minister. Imagine Narendra Modi's historic statement reflecting the spirit of Mahatma Gandhi. War is no solution to any problem. And that was a very, very important statement made by him. I find it very difficult and painful why some of us, a very small category, 
can't enjoy our growth, can't enjoy our rise. I would appeal to my friends in media. Why do you put it in high decimal? Why don't you be proportionate? Go to a village. They have 4G and they will tell you we will get 5G soon. Where are the long lines? Use where we used to stand so that we could pay our bills. Such a big change is taking place. And some of us find it indigestible. Now, here is the question. There will always be some people who will find it indigestible. But what stops all of us to be proactive? Can we afford to be neutral? Can we afford to make, uh, be in silent mode? I would appeal to you. Please, don't be in neutral mode. Don't observe silence. Speak out your mind. Because the world knows Rise of India is unstoppable. And in India, Gujarat, in particular, is a land of opportunity. Gujarat is the favored, favorite destination of investment. I have been all over the country what I have seen, I can't believe. Every bureaucrat was a picture of happiness and satisfaction at any level. I go to a statue of unity and what I see is a marvel unrivaled in the world. Me and Dr. Sudesh, my wife, went to Statue of Liberty in 88. We could never imagine we could have something like this in our India. In the Statue of Liberty, we looked for an inscription of an Indian. I could locate with effort a quote of Mahatma Gandhi. I was in Sabarmati this morning. And that quote was, I care for your liberty because I love mine. I have taken her to Eiffel Tower, but at the Statue of Unity, what we saw, Eiffel Tower is not a shade of it, and the Statue of Liberty is not there. This marvelous creation the entire ecosystem there made me feel very proud as a Bharti. A tribute to those who conceived the idea. A tribute to those who executed it. And I can say, without fear of distinction, without fear of contradiction, without fear of anyone qualifying it, you will not find and it's just marvel anywhere else in the world. And that is why I made an observation. In making observations, I believe in Mahatma Gandhi. I will never be in fear of any mortal or any mortals when I'm convinced that I'm speaking nothing but the truth. Sons of Gujarat have guided this country before independence. They've guided this country immediately after independence. And they are steering this country most ably, successfully, in most difficult times, helping India attain the highest heights. <laughs> and 
and that is why when I went to Sabarmati Ashram, I penned down my thoughts. I quote, blessed to be at Sabarmati Ashram, the sacred shrine of Gandhian thought and way of life. From this hallowed place, Gandhiji began the Sal Satyagraha and illuminated the world with the power of truth and non-violence. Sublimity is the hallmark of the ashram preserving the treasure of Gandhi's legacy in a pristine form. A visit to the ashram is like national pilgrimage that will inspire and motivate to be ever in service of humanity and court. And when I went to Herde Kunj, that charkha, which we don't frequently use now, but has great significance. And it signaled to me something which has come to this country. And that was message of charkha is self-reliance. Now, what did our Prime Minister do something outstandingly? Swachh Bhar is very simple. It has changed the dynamics of the country. It has revolutionized industry. Most of us know what happens outside. I am yet to know of a single Bharatiya who on a travel abroad has thrown a banana skin out of the vehicle. Am I right? No one does it. We have never seen an Indian outside our country not following rules of the road. We have never seen. And back home, we thought it was our privilege. Road was our garbage can. The first thing we will do is down the pen and throw it out on the road. Do we do it now? No. We never thought earlier whether we can be really Atmanirbhar. We are now. The Honorable Governor, a man of erudition, a man from academia, associated with institutions that are at national level in the peak. He has reflected what we have achieved and we have achieved in defense. INS Vikram. We have achieved with ISRO, where the Honorable Governor was there recently. I know it for myself as personally. India is on a rise because India is a powerhouse because of its human genius to cater to world requirement. And that day is not far. Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. As governor, I was a member of this team. I was amazed. We had that myopic idea of our history. We could not discover the people who contributed for our freedom. Our children could never go in two digits as to who got us freedom. And when, as Governor West Bengal, I went to every district, I found number of freedom fighters. Pudiram Bose, less than 18 years of age, went to gallows. Bisa Munda created absolutely amazing contribution to freedom movement. Hazra, at the age of 70, took a bullet on her chest only to name a few. And therefore, this Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is helping us massively to rediscover our heroes, to respect them, to eulogize them, to be aware of our culture. I shall never forget one date in our history. History was created on that day. 
history was created paying highest tribute to the founding fathers of the constitution and that was 25th july 2022 a tribal woman drop the murmuji took oath as a president of this great country the largest democracy the mother of democracy and what a great satisfaction could there be than this all of us know the decision is to be taken by the executive head i salute the vision of the prime minister that he respected the sentiment of tribals and he could put in rashtrapati bhavan a very deserving face a very deserving human being a human being whose life is of commitment and service i had the good fortune and privilege to be governor alongside dropdi murmu ji very intelligent very modest very simple down to earth but very committed to the idea of social justice we never dreamt that this great day will come 25 july will go in the history of this country as the greatest tribute of social justice by the prime minister of the day who could seal the pearls could nav navigate through the heart of tribal people look at the other steps taken deserving boy and girl coming from any segment of society can march unstoppably in every walk of life this is a gift of governance i all my life have suffered loss of opportunities because i did not have adequate funds i could compete for iit kharagpur in 1970 71 could get through but didn't have money to join electronics then was a big thing no child or student now will suffer this because ecosystem has thoroughly been revolutionized i was so happy to note and when i met the honorable chief minister when i landed his priority was education he said we are having a very good program the only program on which his focus was this program passion and mission combined and that is why i make the statement gujarat is the most favored destination of investment and opportunity and this is spreading to other areas of the country in a massive manner we have to see upliftment of our country as a whole and for that all of us here have not to be individuals we have to speak out our mind talk to our sectors and indicate yes india was home to the best institutions in the media well as the honorable governor reflected nalanda and he named many more we are on way to becoming vishwa guru now no one can stop us and therefore i would not take more time i would appeal to my young friends boys and girls you are now positioned because of technological development to be part of the global legal system wherever you may be in the country i have no doubt the kind of education you are getting the kind of opportunities which this country offers 
the world will open doors for you. Success will be yours. I take the opportunity to wish everyone here happy Deepavali. My this visit to Gujarat has been rendered memorable for a variety of reasons, but one of them is loving people of Gujarat. Woman genius of Gujaratis. And that is why I say I carry very fond memories and unhesitatingly I will tell everyone follow Gujarat model and for me this is not partisan. For me this is objective assessment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Honorable Vice President, sir, for your motivating and inspiring.